Welcome to a quick tour of the assets add-on for WP Offload S3 Pro. Once the add-on is installed and activated, you'll see a new assets tab on the S3 and CloudFront settings page. The add-on asks you which bucket to store your assets in, so I'll just select an already created empty bucket. Once that's saved, you can see the other settings available. There is a master setting that enables or disables the add-on. This controls the uploading of files to S3 and the serving of URLs from there. The scanning of files and uploading those files can be done automatically by the plugin every five minutes. The file extension setting controls which types of files are uploaded to S3. This is typically CSS and JavaScript files, as well as images and web fonts. These files are scanned across all of the WordPress core, active plugins, and the active theme files. The domain setting allows you to configure how the URLs are formed when the files are served from S3. The path setting allows you to specify where the files will be stored in the selected bucket, in case you're using the S3 bucket for other things. I'll just add a path and save the settings, turning off the automatic scan just for this test. Now that's saved, I'll initiate the scan by enabling the add-on. I could have done this in the previous save. You'll see a new notice at the top letting you know that the scanning and uploading is underway in the background. This is basically going through all of the WordPress core files, active plugin files, and the current themes files, and uploading the files matching the extension list to S3. It's all done in the background as well, so you can go away and do other things within the admin side of the site. If we view the front of the site and take a look at the source of the page, we'll see the URLs for the CSS and JS files are still being served from the local server whilst the background upload is in process. Now, if we go to S3, we should see some files in the bucket. This process takes some time, but already some core files have been copied across. I'll speed this up a bit somewhat, but you can see the theme and plugin files appearing, including the files for the 2014 theme that I'm using, including the font files, images, styles, and script files. If we then go back to the front of the site and view the source, you can see the CSS and JS files are now being served using the new S3 URLs. If we activate a new plugin like WooCommerce, which will have many asset files, we can see how the add-on reacts to this. The plugin starts the scan again, and we will begin uploading those files to S3. Again, checking the front end source, we can see the new WooCommerce assets are being served from S3 as well. The notice at the top of the settings page gives us the number of styles and script files that are enqueued in WordPress. The add-on has a couple of other bits of functionality, including a manual scan button, a manual purge button of S3 files, and a webhook URL that you can use to initiate a scan manually or with your own cron job. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tour of the assets add-on for WP Offload S3 Pro.